I'm making delicious, meaty, very cowboy-friendly lasagna for the guys. I'm adding three pounds of ground beef and two pounds of just regular pork breakfast sausage to a big pot. And then I'll add about five cloves of minced garlic. Now I'm just gonna cook the meat mixture until it's totally browned. I'm gonna add two 28 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. And then I'll add two cans of tomato paste. If you have the little cans of tomato paste, you'd actually need to add four cans. This is one of those recipes that I could seriously make in my sleep because my mom made it so much and I have made it so much. All right, now I'll just stir in all the tomato stuff and I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. It's a lot of meat, so it needs some seasoning. I'll add some fresh herbs later. It just needs to simmer uncovered for about 45 minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add half of the herbs to the sauce and then I'm gonna save the rest of the herbs for the cheese mixture. Okay, the sauce is pretty much ready. So I'll go ahead and make the cheese mixture for the lasagna. I've got two big containers of cottage cheese. Even if you don't like cottage cheese by itself, it's delicious in this lasagna. My husband would not touch cottage cheese by itself to save his life, but he loves this lasagna. All right, now to the cottage cheese, I'll add four beaten eggs, and that helps bind the lasagna all together. And then a cup of grated Parmesan. Then I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper and mix it all together. The cottage cheese mixture is a little more mild than the ricotta flavor, so you really, really taste the meat and the sauce. All right, that's all stirred together. Now I'll just throw in the rest of the herbs, the parsley and the basil. All the elements are ready, and I'm gonna start assembling it. I'll lay four lasagna noodles in the bottom of these disposable foil pans. All right, on top of the layer of noodles, I'm gonna spoon a fourth of the cheese mixture right over the top. So I'll just spread that all over the noodles. Now on top of the cheese mixture, I'm gonna lay slices of mozzarella. Just a big old spoonful, pretty much on top of each slice of cheese. All right, and spread that out. Now I'm gonna repeat the layer exactly like the first one. It needs to bake at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour until it's hot and bubbly. I'll leave the foil on so the top won't get too burned. 